Good morning. Welcome to week six. Uh, on behalf of Stephen, Stuart, and myself, just wanted to check in and say hello. Make sure everybody was doing okay and managing and feeling well, most importantly, and that your families are well. Um, and uh, you're getting through this crazy time. It's certainly things have changed in this world. Not sure that's changed for the better, of course, but um, something we all got to deal with. So we hope that you're getting through it and just thought we'd uh, check in, do a quick uh, little update, and uh, go over a few things. Um, so I hope that last week went, o went okay, and just as an update, just I'm sure you've seen a lot of emails, but just thought we would share it here again, that many of our insurance companies are giving credits, uh, our personal lines carriers are giving credits to our insureds. Um, don't be fooled, they are monthly credits, not annual credits. Right now, most carriers have done it for the month of um, April and May, where they've given a 15% credit on the auto insurance for each of those months. So theoretically, if somebody had a $3,600 a year premium, that'd be $300 a month. They would get 15% of that, so it'd be approximately $45 each month, or a total of $90. Who knows if the carriers are gonna continue that. Um, I personally think it's very nice, but it's a little bit of smoke and mirrors because I think that you know next year they're just gonna raise rates to cover it. They want making money on auto insurance before giving the discount, so I can't imagine how they're making money after the discount. But we'll take it, we'll give it to our insureds. We have not gotten total clarification yet if that's gonna impact our commissions or not. Some companies have said that it won't, others have been silent on it. So certainly we hope that they uh, refund the money without impacting our commission, but we'll keep you posted on that. So if clients do ask, pretty much every one of our carriers so far, we have not heard from some of the high net worth ones, AIG in particular, but many of our other carriers are offering some sort of discount. Different variations, again, uh, some are just doing it on the liability, some doing it on the whole premium, but they are doing something, so that's uh, somewhat of good news. Also, um, you should note, we did send out an email about it, but the Department of Financial Security did require agents to notify our clients that they can have a deferred payment situation uh, on any bills that are currently due. They do have to demonstrate financial hardship due to COVID-19. We did make up a form that we've sent out to everybody that if somebody wants to defer their payments, we would say to you, you know, tell them to sign this form so we have it in file, we can forward it for them to the insurance company in case they ever ask for it. But most carriers have been fairly reasonable about this and are giving the 60 days at a minimum um, in New York. It only applies to admitted policies. Um, the carriers seem to be pretty willing to discuss going further if need be, but for right now, that deferral period seems to be running through uh, the end of May, May 28th. Um, and then when that uh, amount comes due, they're supposed to be offering people 12 months to make that deferred payment. We haven't seen all the details on that yet, and we'll keep you posted, but we just wanna let you know what's going on, and we did send out emails to whoever we had email addresses for uh, in our system, so that is out to our insurers. Seems like most of the carriers are responding, uh, as I said, they're being reasonable in what they're willing to do to defer payments, um, they are reasonable about it, they're understanding about it. Some carriers are even offered layup periods on commercial auto. If the insured's willing to take the trucks off the road, take the plates off the trucks, not necessarily bring them back to DMV, but certify that he's locked them up in his own office, keys are away and all that, they will give some kind of layup credits. Utica National is one of those companies. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm afraid you know, that if somebody had to jump in a truck and do a delivery, they might. So it's not something we wanna really press, but if somebody asks, it is available with certain carriers. Other carriers are you know, letting us lower limits, lower payrolls, lower sales figures. So it does depend on each individual carrier, but you know, certainly we would, uh, we would ask you all to be empathetic towards your clients and, and uh, you know, work with them as best as possible. Um, don't just say, no, we can't do that. You know, let people know that we're, we'll do whatever we can to, uh, to try to help them out. Um, unfortunately, we did have a bit of sad news over this last week. Um, again, we send our condolences to Ellen and her entire family. Um, unfortunately, on the loss of their dad, Stephen Christ, our thoughts are with Ellen and her family at this difficult time. Um, you know, we know that 
can't be easy and we hope you're getting through it as best as possible. We also learned some additional sad news of, um, some of you may have met him along the way, uh, one of the owners of Royal & Associates, which was a firm we took over in 2009, Mike Mahoney passed away. He was not well, um, but you know we don't know exactly what happened, but unfortunately we did learn that he passed away. You also may remember his daughter, Deborah, um, when we first took over the business work with us for a little while, so we certainly send our condolences um, to Mike's family um, and hope that they're doing okay. And then, um, unfortunately, we did hear, I spoke to Sandra earlier today, Sandra Dokes. She's okay for right now, but unfortunately, her brother-in-law, that was her sister, Priscilla's husband, passed away. It was COVID-related. She seems to think that he did not take the uh, social distancing um, precautions and unfortunately got sick and very quickly uh, you know, made a turn for the worse. And unfortunately, they were not able to save him. So... Our condolences to Sandra and to Priscilla and hope that they are um, doing okay. On some better news, um, hopefully you all got to see the picture that Yadir shared with us today. So thank you, Yadir, for sharing that. Emmanuel, her son, turns 11 months. Uh, so happy birthday a little early. Um, can't believe it's 11 months already. As Yadir said in her email, it just seems like it was yesterday that we had to shower uh, for her in the office. Um, so uh, time is certainly uh, flying by. And speaking of pictures, we would certainly encourage all of you to follow GAF on Instagram, on Facebook. Jen's been doing a great job um, posting things, both COVID-related and just human interest-related about our staff. Um, we've had some work-from-home pictures go up there. We had our own GAF warriors that have been showing up to... Uh, to the office over the last couple of days, had a little contest, and uh, Jen shared some of those pictures uh, on our social media. So certainly we would encourage you, if you don't already follow uh, Garber Atlas Freeze on Facebook or Instagram, do it. Um, you know, it just makes it a little fun and we can get that information out to you and to our clients, tell, the, tell our clients to follow us um, because that's just an easy way to get things out. And of course, thank you to Jen uh, for managing that. You've been a terrific uh, social media manager on those things and keep up the good work. We appreciate it. And if anyone has other ideas or wants to share anything, get it out to Jen. Like I said, she's doing a great job. We do have some GAF anniversaries in April that I didn't want to forget to mention. Um, three in particular. Uh, we have Nydia, who's been with us for four years on April 4th. Um, so four on the fourth, that's pretty good. Uh, Nydia, thanks for all your work and for uh, sticking with us and it's good to have you. Uh, secondly, we have Eileen who will be here 21 years on April 26th. Um, so uh, Eileen, happy anniversary. Uh, I know it's 21 years because I think just when you were starting, my son was just born and he turns 21 tomorrow, April 21st. So, happy anniversary. Uh, and finally, Christine. Christine McDermott has um, been here 26 years on the 26th. So, 26 on the 26th. Happy anniversary, Christine. Um, it's kind of amazing because I knew you from even before Garber Atlas Freeze in a prior agency. Uh, and you've certainly continued to do a great job for us. And uh, we wish you a happy anniversary. And thank you, as always, for everything that you do. Um, we did have a customer satisfaction letter to share. It's from the account called the Estate of Vincent Greco and 212 Beach Drive. Um, I actually got the information because Cynthia and Desiree were in contact with the insured and Desiree shared an email that the uh, insured wrote back to her. Um, and I'll uh, just read it to you and it says, um, from Desiree to Cynthia, thank you, Cynthia. I recently spoke with the insured and she raved about how lovely you were and that you were so helpful to set up a special payment arrangement. She's not currently working due to COVID-19, so breaking up the payments is alleviating the financial burden a bit. So Desiree, thank you for sharing that and uh, for your help with it. And Cynthia, certainly thank you for your help and empathy and your work with the insured. We really do appreciate it. 
Um, last but not but not least, we want to try to do a Zoom conference call uh, with the whole office. It'd be nice to see everybody. So we'd like our first one to be this week. Um, but we really don't want to make it about business. Don't want to make it about work. So what we would like to do is do a Zoom cocktail party this Friday uh, at 4.15 p.m. We invite you, those that are working from home, pour yourself a drink, a glass of wine, a soda, or anything else that you want to drink. It's totally fine with us. Those that might be in the office, uh, love you to participate. If you want to do it from within the office, that's fine. Throw something in your bag and bring it to work. Or if you need to leave a couple minutes early on Friday to get home to participate, that's great too. Whatever makes it easier for you to be part of it is certainly where we're up for it. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to send everybody a meeting invite. It'll come to your GAF email. All of the uh, Zoom information will be in the email. It'll have a meeting ID and a password. Um, all you have to do is either forward that invite to your uh, outside account because it doesn't work well through terminal server. So I would tell you that if your laptops or desktops have webcams, forward it out to that, to your own personal email account and just join the meeting. For those of you that have never done it, you can use your iPads, your tablets, phones work great. Just go to the app store on your particular device and download first the Zoom application. Once that's downloaded, you can hit join a meeting. It'll ask you for a meeting ID and password. And at 4.15 on Friday, you click that, join, and you're in. So it'll be you know something, something for us to try. If anyone has a problem downloading the software, reach out to me, to Perry. Um, I've been using it for the last five weeks and it's uh, pretty helpful. So uh, we'd like you all to, uh, to take part in that if you can. Um, Otherwise, we, help, we hope everybody is doing well. We thank you for your work at home efforts. Um, I hope you're finding it manageable. We really are thankful that right now we're still in a position to you know, have everybody maintained on staff and doing their job. And really what's, what's letting that happen is that we have the ability to work remotely. Thankful that not only you know, our agency and our industry is allowing people you know, to do that and also that we have the technology to do it. If you are having any problems, as I've said before, please let us know. It seems to be working out well, a couple of hiccups here and there, but things that we're able to get over. Um, so, you know, keep us posted on that. And other than that, that's kind of it for now. Um, thank you, and uh, I really look forward to seeing everybody on Friday. Let me know if you're having a problem. Have a good couple of days. We'll see you on Friday. Take care.